Hi Libra, it's Lulu, and today I'm going to do your spiritual conversation. When you see it, that's probably when it applies a little bit. Thank you. Now then, thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. Any information that you need is in the description box, darling. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Libra season is up in this bitch. Whatever. Tomorrow, but still. Happy birthday to us. <laughs> it's going down. To All right, come on. <clears throat> Y'all get serious. Now then. <laughs> Angels, what information do you have for my beautiful Libras, honey? Mm-hmm. Ooh. So, let's review together. Whatever it is that you are going through, it's going to move you back into a space of compassion, a space of heart wisdom. Hmm? All right, here we go. So, y'all going to be apologizing to somebody. I don't think I'm going to be a Libra. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I have noticed that people don't know how to take my jokes. They try to take them too serious. Moving forward and what? Now, so there are some things that you will be working through in this time frame, however long this goes for you, but it's taking you into your heart space. It's taking you into a space of really detaching from yourself to see other folks' points of view. Hmm? It's taking you into this space where you um, will be called to the forefront to apologize to someone or they may be apologizing to you whichever way it goes but there's a heartfelt apology that has to happen it's a healing apology so we do want to look at it in that space it is healing there's a lot of forgiveness that you'll be working through you see that it's gonna happen it ain't got no choice move forward stability security what do you really want? Do you have a stable foundation? Have you planted um, seeds and have you been watering them, basically? Um, with this card, you may, your spouse, maybe you, someone may have been impotent for a while and it was mostly because they were concerned about finances or um, putting more pressure on themselves when it comes to um, trying to keep things together, whatever that means, right? <clears throat> May even be something to do with um, family issues or family values here. But I do feel that things will be coming together. You may be pulled in different directions and now finally figuring out which way to go. And right when you are, this is the, this is the timing for you to really set firm foundations, things that will last, be long lasting, Okay, um, because what it feels like is that once things are grounded, once you are grounded and in tune with your um, absolute direction, things are going to begin to really a lot of movement, a lot of travel, a lot of traveling, traveling, um, being pulled in different directions with this five, um, lots of big changes also, um, now you're in a space of knowing what you want, what you desire with this three. Okay. <clears throat> Waiting for something to happen. So now you have the garden and the gate. Some of you may move into a self-imposed hermit mode. You're going to have to pull yourself out of that because whatever it is that you want, you have to go after it. It's not going to come to you, Libra. That's what they see it. Now, she got the key around her neck to get out of some things. You got the answer to get out of certain situations. You got the answer to get out of the chaos and confusion that may um, begin to transpire after the fact. You may be afraid to leave. You may be afraid to go. Hmm? There's no need for you to be afraid, friend. It's right there. Because now you have the healer of the ages. I think Virgo had that as well. <clears throat> as their third card as well. So let's slow down. Clarify this root chakra. Go ahead and begin to work on it. Listen to the frequencies. Listen to guided meditations. Um, when you do your meditations, use the mudra. If you have the um, mudras, 
um, <clears throat> get the mudra deck. Mudras for awakening the energy body. <clears throat> Find which mudra goes with this thing because this is the nine of swords clarifying it. Confusion on the direction, confusion on the which way to go. Afraid of getting sick, afraid of getting hurt. Hmm? Afraid of making the wrong decision. Anxiety, stress, depression. Trying to get grounded out of these things, Libra. Come out of it. Now, doing a lot of thinking about things that you release yourself from a couple of things, a couple of thoughts, a couple of um, anxieties or worries. But now you are battling. But who are you battling? Nobody. Mentally. Gather yourself. Now then. <clears throat> Always on the defense. Always... Um, well, not always. You know, I don't really like that word. But maybe in this moment in time, you were being very defensive mentally, not wanting to speak to certain people because they were triggering, not wanting to um, look into certain things because you were interpreting them in a, a way that had you fearful of uh, negative outcomes here. Maybe even you lock someone out or kick someone out of your home and you're afraid that um, they are coming back. So you've been staying at home and trying trying to guard and protect your home in that way or guard and pro protect something in that manner. Look at this. Six of Swords and the Fool. Clarifying the garden and the gate. You got a new beginning. It's time to venture off into something new. Do you want to? This is a time to face your opponent, whether it be an internal opponent so that you can take this leap of faith so that you can move into this new um, area of your life that is filled with abundance on levels six of swords clarity so you move from a space of <clears throat> not seeing things clearly or overthinking things to a space of clarity now you have um faced your demons possibly right you faced what it is that needed to be faced and you are the victor hmm? we were just talking about this on instagram earlier you are the victor hmm? there's you, you you hold this off right where it is that motherfucker can't move unless you let him it cannot penetrate your energy unless you allow it it cannot penetrate your mind unless you allow it some of you um, are even in a space when it comes to sickness, when it comes to your health. You stopped overthinking it. You're in a space where um, you are not taking what, what the doctors have told you. Taking matters into your own hands. This is clarity. Smooth sailing ahead. Walking into your new purpose, your new truth, ready to assess everything from a logical standpoint. Because now you have seen, you've gone through this rite of passage. Now you see things clearer. Clearly. Here. What do you want to do? What do you want to happen? What does your future look like? You don't know. But you know you're not dealing with this anymore. It's time for a change. You're coming out of this space of being locked up in, in, in self-imposed hermit mode and moving on to broader horizons. You're ready for it. It's whatever. Taking whatever you have with you that is of um, some type of... Um, you're only taking what you need. You're only taking what is required of you. You're not taking all the things that could hold you back. You are not taking on um, all of the thoughts of others or the, the things that you used to do or the way that you used to speak. All of that is changing. You're moving into a truth that you had no idea. It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. But you got this. Hmm? Because right after that, you have the Ascended Masters, healers of the ages. By you taking this leap of faith and beginning to say yes and stop saying no. Say yes and stop overthinking things. Saying yes 
and letting bygones be bygones and knowing that you don't need anything from your past that is not going to fit in this little bag. It's not going to fit in there. Fool's jerk. What is this, uh, Ascended Masters? You're going to uh, begin to see a lot of um, angels, ancestors. You're going to begin to see um, a lot of shadow people. It's going to be on you to, for you to use your discernment on what feels right in your spirit. The same way people can't fake their vibe, energy can't either. Not, I'm telling you. People be thinking that, excuse me. When it comes to familiar spirits, as they call them, hmm, everything has a thumbprint, an impression, energy, a vibe. You will not be uh, easily uh, strayed. Use your discernment. It don't feel right, tell it to go. Don't even look at it. Just be like, uh -uh. move on. Said. Because I feel like there's going to be a lot of heavy activity around your birthday, honey. See? You won't, you will be, you won't be, be so tired. You won't be in this space of um, feeling like you're not enough or you don't have enough. You're being healed. You're, I really feel like something within your body is being healed on a whole other level. You asked and been praying about it a while back and it's being healed. Um, this um, could easily be that these are your finances since it's a, a, a pentacle. But I think it's bigger than that. I feel like you have a new way of looking at things, a new approach, a new direction. With this five on this healer of the ages, anything that you um, open your mouth to for clarity, anything that you pray for clarity, anything you meditate on for clarity, you're going to uh, receive the answer sooner than later. That's how they're working with you. Yep, coming out of that hermit mode. But look, this is in reverse though. So it's not even supposed to be. So it's not in reverse. That one ain't either. Same shit though. Now, <clears throat> wisdom. Inner light, inner knowing, going within for the answers. It's just clarifying what I said. Going within for the answers, they are there. Everything that you need to know is already in you. You just got to stop questioning yourself and ask that, ask for asking you shall receive or what have you. There may even be a connection between you and someone who, um, there may be a karmic tie between you and someone. And, and now this is coming to the forefront where you can understand and fully see what it is, the connection between you and this person. It has something to do with money, time, effort, or energy. It's right there. <clears throat> it's a different look, a different approach. Um, I feel, Leah, someone is going to need your help. They may not even be saying that they need your help in a certain type of way, but they are being healed. When they are around you, you are healing them here. Um, and that's why, that's probably why um, they want to be around you so much. You are so healing. You give them, and you inspire them. Okay, Libra. You know what we do, baby. Come on. Now, <clears throat> two fives, three fives, four fives. Lots of changes. A lot of things ain't going to be what they are this time next year, of course. But within the next five months, five days, five weeks, you are about to see huge changes in your life. I feel as though there's um, a war or a battle that you have fought in your life that is no longer there. It's, it's no longer yours to fight. That's why the hill of the ages is right here. This is what it's clarifying. Your finances being healed, your emotions being healed, but also sending you within to do the work. You try to go into a self-imposed hermit mode, and then you go into a real one. But on a whole other level, you are ascending. Go up in the attic. We'll be up there to feed you. You are ascending. You're taking matters into your own hands and handing over what it is that you feel like you cannot control, what is out of your control. It, you are changing. 
the way that you do things, changing the way that you see things, changing who you are internally, and it will uh, spill over externally. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. And y'all got a lot of fives. Um, I feel like there may be, um, someone is being, justice is being served on someone, maybe an earth sign, who <clears throat> has been very, um, a, a challenge in your life here. They may have been uh, coming off as if they were generous or being generous, or they feel as though, they were very, see, here we are. They're jealous. It's an earth sign that's jealous of your um, will. Ooh, your will. They wanted to keep you in some type of, um, <clears throat> they wanted to keep you in some type of um, situation. They may have said some things that weren't very nice. They may have done some things that wasn't very nice. See how that line back there? <clears throat> Looking and lurking. Hmm? Then you got three swords in this, I think that's a cheetah. That's a leopard. There's three swords. There's hurt, there's pain, there's sorrow. There's you moving forward. After you have done the work. And things are turning around. You're moving into a cycle of success. A cycle of sovereignty. Knowing that you are the ruler. The sovereign ruler of yourself. Knowing that what you have gone through has not made you or created um, any type of... You don't have any ill feelings is what I want to say. You don't have any ill feelings. You don't have any... Um, you tried to help. Right? You try to help people. Maybe to your own detriment. But you are realizing what needs to be done now. They are here to help you. Call on your ancestors, baby. Call on your ascended masters. You're going to get a lot of synchronicities that have um, much to do with fives. Be ready. Welcome it. Now then, a change of events. Uh, someone may be, oh, it's getting dark, so y'all know these readings can go somewhere else. No matter how much I try to tell them that we don't need to talk about certain things. It's nighttime. So. Someone may um, be going to jail for some type of financial uh, dishonesty. Here. A change of, e a turn of events. They may not stay in there long. So hold on. They may not be in there long. Somebody else went to jail on another reading. Y'all been doing them PPP loans and unemployment fraud. Baby, ain't no money worth my my freedom. Now, <clears throat> okay. So with this will of fortune spinning in your favor, you are taking on this goddess energy or this God energy here, ready to collaborate, really ready to move forward with your plans, right? Guarded and protected using the wisdom that Al this Virgo, using the wisdom here. Hmm? Clarifying this will of fortune is the Empress and the Three of Wands. Things are coming together for you. Now you see, this is a, a period of growth and expansion when you are leaving certain things behind and moving forward in your truth. There's growth and expansion here. There's a need for you to be um, take calculated risk or take into um, account how you move and when you move. So this may be a period of a lot of um, naysayers. This may be a period that you go through. You need to stand in your truth. Stand in your goddess energy here. Uh, someone may even be getting pregnant and um, others are mad. So you, you got pregnant by the NFL player label. And the other girls was trying to get pregnant. They had their turkey, turkey baster. They couldn't get pregnant. Now they made. They saw, someone revealed they were pregnant on social media. Someone is revealing that they are cohabitating and it's some angry birds. Move forward. Now y'all know I ain't been doing these readings for a while, so this is not gonna resonate with everybody. Y'all know that. Let's pull three more cards. I told you always. I can't make this up. The red dress and the red box of briefs is in the building. Third party situation or something being reviewed, re revealed, and not everybody is happy. 
This may be a group of friends or a group of people that may even be family. Some of you don't even want to <clears throat> partake in these types of, uh, you don't want to socialize. It's right here. You're trying to gather yourself and get yourself together. You just want to do what's right, they said. You weren't trying to make nobody jealous. There it is. But this is your personal vision, and you can't share it with everyone. Told somebody to lie. Be mindful, be present, be aware. So let's see what this deceit is. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Told them same damn cards. Hold on. I'm still gonna read them. Uh, <clears throat> there may be some type of deceit, whether you are deceiving yourself or not, about some type of hurt. But overall, I feel like someone that hurt you <clears throat> may still be trying to manipulate a certain situation, may be trying to say certain things because they know that you have a new beginning. Nothing about to interfere with what you got going on. They can't have your power unless you give it to them. What is you doing? All right, let's see. <clears throat> Clarify this deceit, which is the devil card. And make sure that you are not being a victim of your own mind. What is this deceit? Somebody is playing with money. What is this deceit? Hiding money. Lying. I'm telling you, you look like, I don't know why, someone is trying to, um, it's apparent that you may um, be vulnerable or move into a vulnerable space. Be mindful of who you are vulnerable with. Because everybody ain't trying to see you be happy or make it. Right there. So who is this before I roll up out of here? Who is this? Uh, damn. Someone wants to reconcile. They don't want to see you move forward. They want to make sure that you stay where they're trying to bring you to a full on halt on your journey. They want you to remain where you are. They want you to remain who you were to them. But they also want you to remain in a third party situation. Ain't nobody got time for that. No. You may even be, there may even be someone trying to lure you out to go on a date, lure you out to go to a party, lure you. You are being lured. So just be mindful of why someone is asking you to do something or why they are trying to push so hard for you to come where they are. Or why are they pushing so hard to get you to do something out of the norm, out of nowhere? I'm telling you, what else? Clarify this three of cups. They don't want to end. They don't want it to end. You may be done with someone or finally pulled yourself back, got your ground and your footing, in tune with your star player, ready to do whatever it is that you need to do. You probably got new friends, a new way of life. They know that you are healing on a soul level. You're not who you were. And boom, death. They don't want it to end. They want to keep you where you at. That's that deceit. Look at it. You're going to have to end that. I don't like his eyes. That's it. So you just be mindful of that moving forward. Okay? Now, whatever message you were looking for in this video, I hope that you at least got one. Hmm? Came over here looking. Looking and stirring. This one. Hmm? It's apparent I'm about to be up all night. It's apparent. It's evident. That's your reason. Be mindful of this. Hmm? It may be two people working together. One human and one a spirit. Trying to cause some type of confusion, chaos. Trying to play you. Be mindful. I don't know who that is. They always doing that. Hmm? That's how they play with their dog, okay? They always doing this. What is this? I don't know. I don't know the is. But they always fiddling and fundling and playing around on them. They ain't on the up and up. You just disarm it. Gonna go. I might give them a good time. I don't know who it is. <laughs> 